this now with Major Chris Hunter. He was a bomb disposal expert who was awarded the Queen's Gallantry Medal for his work in Iraq and his experiences inspired the film The Hurt Locker. Good evening to you, Chris. Hi, mate. Um, who knows if there are boots on the ground? It certainly doesn't seem clear. Do you think there should be? Um, I think there absolutely shouldn't be boots on the ground in terms of conventional forces um, to the sort of scale we saw in the original Iraq deployments in Afghanistan. But I do very much believe we should be supporting this militarily, um, diplomatically, and of course in terms of the aid missions that we're carrying out at the moment. But you also believe we're playing catch up here because IS are already one step ahead. That's right. I mean, they've basically had two and a half years to develop their strategy and implement their, you know, their operational objectives. Um, we've really been taking this seriously for the last two and a half months. Um, but that said, it is being taken seriously. And I think, you know, um, I was fiercely opposed to any intervention in Syria militarily. Um, I think this is a very different situation. And I think most people can see the, you know, the barbaric acts that are taking place there. But I think crucially, the, the threat to our homeland here already. We've seen jihadists there that have got you know, membership to Liverpool Football Club, reportedly, um, membership to a, a gym in Ealing. We've seen the black flag of IS being flown in East London just a couple of weeks ago. And most importantly, we've seen British-born jihadists there publicly stating in television interviews that they're going to come back here and carry out jihad. It also begs the question whether we left Iraq too soon or again, whether we should have even been involved in the place in the first place, if you like. I mean, I think that's a very different argument, and there's a number of compelling reasons for and against. I was in Iraq and Afghanistan, and I think a lot of soldiers experience mission creep. Um, we all know the, uh, the notorious reasons that we were initially deployed to Iraq. But that said, when we were there on the ground and we saw the, the lives that we changed for the better, and we met with Iraqis who had endured horrendous acts under the Saddam regime, um, we all felt quite good and justified being there. Um, and certainly, you know, my team and I, we were there to stop terrorist bombs from killing innocent people, so we were totally justified personally. And I'm sure when you were there, you rubbed shoulders with US forces, and once again, we seem to be following their lead here. Well, I think, you know, both um, Barack Obama and our Prime Minister are reluctant to commit conventional forces on the ground. I think that's been made very clear, and I personally believe that's the case. Um, otherwise, they wouldn't have committed so late. But I think they realize that something has to be done. And I think, you know, in terms of the aid, that's definitely essential. I think diplomatically, we've seen UN sanctions just being approved against the key members of IS. And of course, the other diplomatic um, approaches, Britain wants to take the lead and, you know, even talk about engaging with Iran, which, have been which would have been absolutely, you know, not a starter whatsoever. Mm. And then, of course, militarily, you know, we've got IS have taken strategic targets. They're very, very clever at what they're doing. So at least we have clear targets that we can engage in order to get those back. Major Chris Hunter, thanks very much indeed. Thank you very much.